welcome. Today we're going to be doing a project actually over a couple days. I'll have to stitch this together afterwards to try and take care of where the edge of my driveway that's concrete meets the road, which is an oil and chip uh, road. It's not full depth asphalt or concrete. And we're going to put a bituminous treatment in lieu of the gravel here that connects the two together. So we're going to have to clean up some of the grass and the weeds, get rid of some of this leveling binder. Actually, it's not really a true leveling binder, but get rid of some of the the rock here that was used to level out uh, the two so we can prep this here and put down some forms and get to work. The material that we're going to be using today is something called bull creek. This is essentially cold patch asphalt, tire rubber modified and we can see at the bottom here covers five square feet with one inch. I'm not going to go in for a full one inch, so I've got 700 pounds of material here spread across my 14 bags. I don't know if I'll need them all, but based on my calculations, I think I'm probably over by one bag. But it's better to be over by one and be able to return it because of my rental on the plate compactor. And so now with that, let's take a look at the site prep. All right, so I've got my form work set up here for my curb returns. I went ahead and spread out my aggregate. I've got it as leveled out as close as I can. Probably need to do a little bit more fill over on the left side of the camera. Do that with the rake. And then we'll start putting down the bull creek. We got a plate compactor to come out here and make sure this is nice and flat and even. And we use the bull creek here to get our surface. The Wacker Newson plate compactor. This is being used as a rental. It comes with a Honda GX120 engine. Also has a water tank on the front to help keep dust down on aggregate compaction. Uh, the size of this plate compactor I've put in the dimension or in the description overhead. This is a relatively small size one and is rated at 142 pounds. It's obviously got a gas engine on it. What's most interesting are the wheels. The camera down here, you see the wheels here flip underneath the plate. The vibratory plate for transport on the job site. Or you can flip the wheels back and the wheels kick right up. So I think that's pretty nifty. And uh, so now let's get the use. Oh, we need to fill the water tank. And then let's uh, get this to use compacting some aggregate.
Just as a follow up on the driveway here, it's been just under two months since I shot the beginning part of this video. I just want to show you how it's performed. I have done a little bit of extra work on the edges, trying to add a little more material to the edges. And I just came back today and added a little bit more, trying to tidy up the edge closest to the street. Uh, it's been interesting. There's been a few spots where it was thin, where some weeds were able to grow through it. I need to come back and shoot that with some glyphosate to be able to get rid of those weeds and kill that off to make that all nice and tidy. Uh, the county has come through here. Actually, the township has come through and then just spread some more rock and oil on the road. And so there's been just some extra aggregate provided by the county that's worked its way uh, into this little driveway patch here. That's the white aggregate. The brown aggregate was what was below it. You can see a little bit of the tire tracks on here, but overall it's worn quite well. And people, visitors have commented on how much nicer it is pulling in without having the rock there. And even better for me has been the lack of gravel that I have to clean up before I have to mow. So overall, I'm quite pleased with how this has held up. Obviously, I haven't had a complete freeze-thaw cycle yet to see how this will handle winter weather. But the Bullcrete has handled at least summer weather just fine and traffic in and out of the driveway. And I've added a little bit more to, just to continue to tidy it up. And so there's some fresh stuff I added here this evening. But the main part of the bulk of this was, add, was done during the original part of the video that you saw just a few moments ago. One other thing to watch out for is Menard sells the bags for about 14 bucks. But if you watch carefully, I've learned you can get the material for about $9.99 if you can find the right sale. Uh, they have a Made in USA sale that comes periodically, and you might be able to find it with that for about 10 bucks a bag rather than 14 bucks a bag. And that's actually a better deal than waiting for an 11% rebate sale on the material. And if you're considering paving over a driveway project, this is one way you might be able to do it yourself. However, I do have to just add one final disclaimer that the actual cost for how much I spent on this, buying the material by the bag, uh, might have actually put me a little bit behind compared to if I just had regular hot mix asphalt dropped off and delivered. Uh, you'll have to run the calculations yourself, but it's probably worth your while to be able to compare it if you're doing this size of an area. If you're working with this cold patch asphalt, whenever you're done, you might have some of this on your tools. And if I take just a clean blue shop towel here, and I go to try to wipe this down, you can see it's not actually, it's, I can get some of it by pure force, but they're still leaving some gum behind. So let me show you a quick tip on how to get that off of your tools. My go-to remedy for this is just some PB Blaster. And I'm going to squirt my tools uh, with this, and then you can watch it just wipe right off. And now with the PB Blaster on, almost like magic, the gunk here will just wipe right off. It comes off much easier with a blue shop towel. I can get back down to the black metal on this rake. Also works for your hands. Obviously you want to come back and get that with some soap and water before you go to eat. But the parts that you oil down with that will come off much easier with your cold patch. And so with that tip and what I showed you today, I hope you found this useful and have a great day. Bye.